stuffed granola bars in our mouth, and now we are joining a tour of downtown Lima. Our guide just told us that this statue here is supposed to be for freedom, uh, like the Statue of Liberty, and they told him at the top of the head to put Yama, and that has four different meanings. One of them is name, and then one of them is flame, but he thought it meant llama. So instead of a flame, she has a llama on top of her head. This is the oldest church in Lima, and it's the Baroque style architecture. I don't know anything about architecture, but there's a lot of beautiful architecture in Lima, and we are learning a lot about it. It's called Baroque style because you go Baroque after building. This is the city of balconies, and there's a ton of wooden balconies. This here is like the White House. This is Love Park here, and there are Actually, a decent amount of couples, coincidentally, and it's a great view of the ocean. This is San Francisco Church in Lima, and I think it's only like 15 souls to enter, but it is so worth it. Like, I did not expect so much beauty and history. Ow, my work! Oh my work! Oh my work! I don't think she likes birds. <laughs> Underneath uh, the whole city of Lima, underneath uh, I think like 26 different churches, are catacombs. And this church here, there's about 25,000 people who have been buried. And then all of the catacombs are connected, which is one of the reasons why, even though it's such a big city, they don't have any metro and they use buses instead. Today we flew to Iquitos, Peru to see the Amazon and they're taking us around to the town of Belin and then we are going on the Amazon but right now we are actually fishing for piranhas. This morning we woke up at 3 a.m. and we're now in the airport. Not because we had to but because we decided that we wanted to see the Amazon. So we are going to Iquitos, Peru for one day. We are coming back tonight. I don't know what today is going to hold, but it's definitely going to be interesting and I'm really excited to see a very, very tiny glimpse of the Amazon. Some interesting experiences might happen, they said. Then we will go to a market to see the exotic surrey, edible worms, lizard, and some curiosities there are sold. Then they will depart in a collective boat so that they can have the real experience of sailing in a boat through the Amazon. So, gonna be a long day, but hopefully a fun one. Our flight was supposed to be boarding uh, really soon, which is like around 6, 6.15. And we got an announcement that they're going to be waiting till 7.15 to give us more information. And at that point, they might move us to the 9.45. Problem is, we're only going for a day. Flying about two, two and a half hours, and then flying about two to two and a half hours back. So if it's delayed and we get there at 12, we'll probably miss our tour. So we're on standby. Emma's emailing right now. That's not good. Not good. We're not happy. Not, no, 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 no. We're not happy, but I think we're too tired to realize right now how unhappy we are. <laughs> and we changed our flight to 945, which means that we'll probably have all things total, maybe five hours there. Maybe. Or at least four hours of flying, let alone how much time at the airport and about 40 minutes of transportation to the airport. Going to Akita. to get some shut eye. <laughs> it's been since three and it's now 12. So is that right? Yeah. Wow. So we've just arrived at the airport. We are now going to take a bicycle taxi sort of thing to downtown Akita. This is amazing. Four of us and one motorcycle. Another motorcycle. But we heard that this market has a lot of interesting things, so we're hoping we can go there. 
this here is the Bay Lane Market, and this is some natural medicine, and they pretty much have anything you can imagine here. It's huge! We read prior to coming, and now we're seeing that there's a lot of like snake skin, leopard skin, uh, actual fish, but also like alligator meat, and so to be responsible and protect the animals of the Amazon, they encourage tourists to not buy those things. So we are not. But it is interesting to see what they have available. From the motorcycle to a boat, we are getting on and going piranha fishing now. Normally when I think of Peru, I think of the Andes and the mountains, or the coast in Lima. But actually 60% of the country is made up of the Amazon. And this is one of the best places to access the Amazon because it's just a flight away from Lima. So we flew into the Iquitos airport. We're currently in Belen. And then we'll be going right here to the Amazon River. The Amazon is over nine different countries in South America. And I looked at it like a map. If you put the 48 states down on the Amazon, the Amazon is not quite as big, but almost the same size as like the 48 states. And this is his family. Everyone is so kind, and they even give us this juice from Starfruit. It's really delicious. How much did you say? Carambula. 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 Yeah. And he said that this, in the summer, is no water, and then in the heavy rainy season, it goes all the way up to those houses over there. Adios. Adios. These are the motors of the boats, so you can go as deep or shallow as you need to. Going down the river, going piranha fishing. A little bit nervous about this. Our guide said that spiders are very common here, so much that in the morning when you put on your boots, you have to look inside them to make sure there's not spiders. And he said that there's a lot of snakes, but the Bushmaster snake is one of the most dangerous, and he will attack them with something like this. I mean, what are you doing? Looking for snakes. <laughs> He'll said, probably see me before I see them. He said, look for any snakes. So there's a couple things that Pablo told us about piranhas. One, they're all over this part of the river. But they don't bite unless they smell blood. That is calling the piranhas. I had Emmy about capsize us <laughs> right where we're trying to find the piranhas. <laughs> Has a piranha ever bitten you? Yes. Yes? Yes. Oh, how much did that hurt? <laughs> Does it hurt? Yes. I'm patiently awaiting the piranhas. I had no idea today when we were waking up around 3 that in like 10 hours I would be fishing for piranhas in the rainforest. Not very patient fishermen, but it's a little more fun when you're in the Amazon catching piranhas. Oh, Hyde's going to fish! Do you get a piranha? What? Yeah! What? That's not a sunny, that's a piranha. Look at his teeth. So he can bite? Yes, yes, yes. Good work, huh? I never thought that I'd see a piranha, let alone be catching one. Their teeth, they're not very big, but their teeth, they have so many of them. We're getting some gasoline for the boat. This is the gas station. So right now we are headed to the Amazon. And the Amazon is the second longest river in the world after the Nile. But it is so big that it has more water than the Mississippi, the Nile, and the Yangtze River put together. Something else that I looked up is that there's about four to 500 different groups living in the Amazon. And about 50 of those tribes have no connection with the outside world. So this here is like a house that they 
are floating on and they usually don't use any motor and they just float down the river for about two months. Coffee and milk. I see it. We are on the Amazon River. I'm touching the Amazon. <laughs> Feels like piranhas. <laughs> it's not cold. I just saw a dolphin. And I just was, I don't know if it was a dolphin, but it was, it was big and it went. Oh, yes, yes, dolphin. We caught a piranha, we saw some dolphins, and it was a successful day. And it didn't even rain on us in the Amazon rainforest. This is incredible. I don't know if I'll ever in my life be at the Amazon again. So, we weren't sure at the beginning of today if we were even going to make it because of our flight. And spending about nine hours, eight and a half hours in the airport. Waiting in the airport, but we made it, and it's been an amazing experience in the Amazon. I'm so happy we're able to come. Wait, what are we doing? We're holding our breath we, and making right, it across. We have to hold hands and then make it the whole way across. And hold your breath. Yeah. And then if you make it, you're together forever. Oh no! I'm worried. All right, three, two, one. Go. <laughs> There's a famous kissing statue that people replicate, so you know what that means. You ready? That's pretty PG-13 right there. I don't know if uh, we're allowed to be laying on the ground. They're all resting up there. And Emmy is cowering in the corner right here. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing 